Hi everyone, my name is Tristan from Plascon Plastics. Today we're gonna to be talking about nylon. Um, it's a very cold day here in Vancouver. Just so you know, I'm not lying. Check out the snow here in Vancouver. It's very cold this time of year. Um, and what I started to notice with my car is that the, the windshield defrost stopped working. It would only you know blow air to my chest. So I was like, what could that problem be? It's probably the HVAC actuator. So I pulled it out and replaced it and here it is. And this is a really weird feeling plastic and I couldn't figure out what this is made out of. Then I realized we don't have a video on nylon, so here it is. Um, and I'll get kind of get back to this in a little bit. But first off, what is nylon? So nylon is uh, just like any other plastic. It's a synthetic polymer um, chained together with things called monomers. Um, it's a very versatile plastic. It's a very strong plastic and very resistant plastic to chemicals and wear and tear. Um, and that's kind of what sets it apart. It's used for things like rope, um, automotive parts, cords, uh, clothing. So anything that where flexible, both flexibility and a high strength is required, uh, nylon might be used. And when I say high strength, I don't mean a high strength, just like a one time, like an impact. Um, it's more of a resistant type of plastic. So it can just withstand stress over and over and over again. Um, and that's why it's used for things like rope. It's gonna be tugged to a certain amount and it needs to withstand that pressure for years and years. Um, and that's what nylon is really good at. So what is nylon used for? One thing is clothing and fabrics, particularly things like jackets or windbreakers where durability is required. Uh, nylon can be similar to uh, polyester, but nylon is more expensive and stronger than polyester. Sometimes it's also used for things like lingerie. Of course, lingerie doesn't technically have to be the strongest thing in the world, but because it's so thin, a lot of the fabrics that hold the structure of lingerie will be made out of nylon. Next thing is ropes and cords. We've already mentioned it. Because of its high uh, strength and high stress resistance is optimal for that use case. Use case number three would be things like automotive parts. Um, so on one end of the spectrum, you've got things that like don't move like hoses and stuff like that. Hoses um, are really good because nylon can be extruded into different fibers, making it really strong. And therefore hoses are you know, a, a very large use for nylon as they need to be flexible um, and they still need to withstand different temperature changes and stuff like that. And nylon is actually used for other things like uh, gears. Now, when I say gears, I don't mean the, you know, the gears in your engine, the things that you might not even consider to be in your car, like the gears uh, that are connected to this thing to, you know, blow air either at your head or blow air at your feet, the gears to move small uh, parts in your car, um, could be like your electronic seats that you know go back or your headrest that goes up and down, stuff like that. There's a lot of gears uh, in a car that people kind of forget about. And the ones that don't need a tremendous amount of strength, like you know the ones in the engine um, are often made out of plastic or some sort of polymer. And often it is nylon. Another use case would be in the military. Um, nylon is just used like for different, different types of small cords. Um, parachutes would be a good example of that and just different straps and stuff like that that need to be really strong if you're kicking some sort of goods off of an airplane or something like that a lot of the tie down straps and stuff like that are made out of nylon nylon is also used for a lot of household applications such as toothbrushes um, and also used for carpets a lot of carpets are going to be made out of nylon again it's that high strength people are going to be walking over carpets for a long period of time those nylon fibers are going to be really good at holding up and just piggybacking off of you know, the thread things like the carpets, um, because it can be used into threads, it's often used for medical applications as well, um, such as suture threads or different prosthetics. Uh, nylon is often used as well. In terms of recycling nylon, uh, it's gonna have a recycling rate of about 0%, maybe maybe 1%, but it's probably closer to 0%. Uh, again, why are we using nylon? We're using nylon because it's high strength um, and it's durable, right? So when that life cycle ends, and it's usually a pretty long life cycle, it can be 10 years, 20 years, whatever, those things that often are used for a longer period of time naturally just don't have the same recycling um, sorting process. So when it comes to recycling, the uh, sort and gathering aspect of recycling is the most important and the hardest to do. Uh, that's why plastic bottles that are made out of PET, which is number one plastic, can be easily sorted and gathered. Uh, it's really easy to find plastic bottles to recycle. Whereas stuff like this, stuff like nylon gears, um, stuff like old carpets, you know, there's no real easy way to recycle that. And therefore nylon has a very, very low recycling rate. If you found this video useful, please subscribe or comment. Take care.